So welcome back to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the type 4 database protocol driver. Sometimes this driver may be called as thin driver or full or 100% Java driver. So we are having Java application and we want to communicate to the database through the Java application. So we have written some application code and through the JDBC API call and type 4 database protocol driver, we establish the communication to the database. So we have, you might have observed over here, there is no intermediate between your type 4 database protocol driver and your database servers. As we have seen in the previous drivers, we are having something between your type 1, type 2 and type 3 driver, uh, some component to communicate with the database. But over here, there is no component to communicate from the your type 4 driver to the database so this is the benefit of type 4 driver and that's why it is also called as a thin driver so you might have seen there is nothing means the layer between your type 4 driver and database library is a is a thin layer and if you see the previous drivers there is a thick layer between the type 1 type 2 and type 3 driver from driver for communication communication from your driver to database so this is also a benefit of a type 4 database protocol driver so how the communication take place so these drivers convert your jdbc calls directly into the vendor specific database protocol that's why it is called as a database protocol driver so whatever the jdbc api calls you get all those calls are converted by your database protocol driver in the form of protocol database vendor specific protocol so that your database can understand those protocol sometimes it is also uh, also called as like an uh, this driver is a direct to database pure java direct uh, pure java driver direct to database meant to say it is directly communicating to the database okay and why it is called as a pure java driver because all this code database protocol driver code is written in the java so that's why it is a as it is a, written in java that's why it is in a it is a platform independent not uh, dependent on upon your underlying operating system so that's why it is a platform independent so previous drivers were platform dependent so this is not a platform dependent it's a platform independent but this driver is totally dependent of, dependent on your database okay so what type of database you are using suppose you are using microsoft sql server then you need need a type 4 database protocol driver of a microsoft sql server okay so your database vendor will provide the type 4 type 4 type type 4 driver and those type 4 driver you have to install on your client machine otherwise communication doesn't take place suppose you are using oracle database then you have to have your type 4 driver of oracle and if you are using mysql then you should have the type 4 database protocol driver of mysql database as we have seen in the type 3 a type 3 driver can communicate to the different database okay but here java application through the database protocol driver that is type 4 driver cannot communicate to the number of database at the same time okay. so this is the uh, thin driver which is having very thin layer between application and the database server so from the block diagram point of view we can observe this java application jdbc api and the native protocol driver are all resides on your client machine your native protocol driver need to be installed as per your underlying database so this uh, communication is direct call using specific database protocol okay so we'll try to understand some advantages and disadvantages of type 4 driver better performance than the all other driver because of the overhead less overhead because we have seen in the type 1 driver we required odbc drivers and data database vendor libraries also so that was that overhead is 
not in the type 4 driver if you think about the type 2 driver there also we required database vendor libraries and even in the type 3 driver middleware is there that's why communication time is more so as compared to the all these three types of driver type 4 driver is more better perform having the better performance and next advantage is no software is required at a client side or server side okay so no requirement of third database vendor dependent software and all that so database vendor library is required in type 1 type 2 and even type 3 also but over here we don't require any type of software only just driver is sufficient to communicate with the database so this is also a benefit of a type 4 if you talk about the type 4 uh, driver so only one disadvantage is over here drivers depends on the database so whatever driver is there in your client machine that kind of database you have to communicate otherwise communication cannot be take place so only one driver at a time you could have and you could establish the communication between them okay so you have to have the database dependent driver it's not like your java software is going to provide your type 4 driver type 4 drivers are provided by your database vendor if you're using sql server then microsoft provide you type 4 driver if you're using mysql then mysql provide you a mysql type 4 driver if you're using oracle then oracle will provide your type 4 driver for your application